Afrobeat tunes. So Rema went from saying a month ago that the only reason why he had no Nigerian features on his project, his debut project, is simply because he wasn't messing with the Nigerian artists, that he wasn't friends with them, he wasn't cool with them, as he was cool with Chris Brown, Leon, as S, and every other actor he had on the project. And just to be clear, I know people might be thinking, oh shit, why don't Rema have any Afrobeat artists on his, um, on his album? I would say, no feature on my album was based off uh, uh, hey label, I need, I need an artist or I need an international collab. No, nothing was like that. Everything was organic. Every artist in my album is my friend. You know, I don't really like to make music with you if, not, if we're not actually cool. I will not make music or oh, just to seem like, oh shit, just to appease the fans so that it will look like we're not fighting. Nah, bro, it has to be organic. Like, no feature on my album was forced or me trying to look international or seem, oh shit, I want to cross boundary. Nah, I already crossed that 2019. You feel me? I already crossed boundary long time. So it's not me trying to be like, oh shit, um, you know, I need this feature to be. Nah, bro. That's disgusting. Like, every feature on my album right now is based off mutual respect, mutual friendship close relationship like me and chris breezy we were at the house playing video games or and basketball and whatever and then we hopped in the studio we are cool like me and Lil Nas, we close like me and everybody we close I, I i create music with people i rock with people i chill with you know but i will not force an afrobeat feature if we're not cool like we got to hang we got to chill you know, to create them bangers, like it's not forced. I'm not, I will not go in the studio to appease the fan base that, oh, we are cool, that's why we create the music. I'll create music because I fuck with you and you fuck with me, you know? Now, by the way, disclaimer, Leonas was not on Rema's grave and was this project. However, guess what? One month later, Rema has come out to review that he has collaborations of songs with four Nigerian acts right now. He has collaboration with Olamide. Psycho YP, David Doe, as well as Fireboy TML. And this is within the space of a month. I just simply can't believe that Remo was able to build all these relationships and then jump in his studio with these four guys within the space of a month. Because if we're thinking what Remo said after he dropped the Raven Roses project, literally, we would assume that Remo has no friends in the industry. For Rema to have gone from having no friends in the industry, completely zero friends, and not making music with any Nigerian artists, to within the space of a, of a month, having four friends already in the industry and making music with them is completely, utterly unbelievable. But guys, here's a clip of Rema revealing his collaborative work with certain Nigerian acts in the industry. Roll it. So, Remy, tell me, tell me three collaborations that we should expect with you and three Nigerian artists. Um, me and Alamide, me and Obio, two, me and um, uh, Fireboy, me and Psycho YP. Sheesh, I, I have a lot, man. Sheesh, this never starts. Sheesh, mm. we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to that. And so, guys, at this point, you just have to understand the fact that what Rema said back then as regards why he had no nigerian features on his project was just pure lie rema was lying rema had no reason not to have a nigerian act i think rema felt like having more foreign acts would help him go international something he tried to deny in that video but it just did not work out right the project so far has been up i think let's say for for example it's been up on youtube for like a month right now so far it's had like half a million views now that's not bad numbers but for Rema, it seemed like poor numbers, right? Because Rema pulls better numbers than that. On other streaming sites, I've not really checked it, but I can very well say without even a doubt that it is not pulling as much numbers as we would expect from a Rema's debut project. And it's easy for you guys to see that because people are not really talking about the project. It's like a project just came and went without doing anything. No impact as much and this was supposed to be rema's debut this was supposed to be the defining album to solidify rema's sound rema raven was a sound but it just came and it was like all right nobody really cares in fact 
I think when when Omar Lee came out and made it clear that he's still the best lyricist after Rema's debut project came out, I think that's just pretty much how Nigerians feel. Because Nigerians must have heard the project and be like, you know what? Like we've seen better, right? This is not one of the best works out there. But guys, here, the more you think about it, and guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as turn post notification. And stay tuned for more Afrobeats related entertainment and just coming at you. I'm out for now, guys. Peace.